Western Texas. Welcome to Fort Davis. Fort Davis, what's so significant about Fort Davis? All right, so Fort Davis is a mid to late 1800s military post built to protect travelers from Apache Indian raiding. Some of the historic buildings, and these are furnished like they were in the 1800s. We have a barracks next door. So the cots, the wool uniforms, wood burning stoves to keep it heated during the winter time and such. Compare that to officers' amenities, gonna be a little bit nicer. So. Another outlying building is the kitchen. Kind of self-explanatory, but a couple of things to point out is there how they preserved food. They pickled everything. Hmm. Eggs, okra, anything they could think of got pickled. The main road from San Antonio to the California gold fields ran right through here. What was that again, Bill? It was yeah, right, right, right there. there. Okay. Think of it as I-10 back when this oh, was no the kidding. 1800s. Okay. Now it's, this went from San Antonio to El Paso. El Paso. And then on to the California. Wow, and this was called the Overland? Uh, one of the Overland Trails. One of the Overland Trails. And this yep. would be Stagecoach mm -hmm. coming through? It would be. Stagecoach, uh, you had Wells Fargo, and you had the freight lines, and then of course your military, and all of those moving back and forth constantly. Uh, think Just like today's highway, there's people going, there's people coming. And... Except on this, it takes a lot longer to go and come, obviously. So did they have the road here and they decided because the road's there, we're gonna build the fort, or was it the other All way around? at the same time. So this is the original overland route. Going forward, we got San Antonio 400 miles away. Going behind me, El Paso 200 miles away. Walking on the original road. 600 Close. soldiers are gonna keep 30 Indians away yeah. any day of the week. Yeah. Uh, Apache, as you can read, are nomadic. Because if you watch the Westerns enough, usually when you think of a Western fort, it's surrounded by a, a wood a fence. Wall and Obviously, up. because of the number of troops here, you have a natural wall yeah. behind you with the cliffs. That wasn't necessary, exactly. right? Basically, okay. Yeah, Southwest forts didn't have walls. Uh, yeah. The movies like to make an amalgam of various sure. types of Sure. We all grew up, you know, our age, watching F Troop, you know? You Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Horses were here, 200 uh, mule and oxen, plus the 600 soldiers. So today, when you hear a cricket chirping, you are not going to hear that back then. We had about two hours at Fort Davis. That was a nice stop. I wish we had some more time, but uh, I have to admit that it's Intense as I like to make these trips. I even overscheduled this one and planned too much, I think, for this day. But we're looking for some dinner right now because we can't do tuna fish three days in a row, lunch and dinner. And we find ourselves at Thrifty Way. About the only thing we can do in a town like this to get a bite to eat. Is that a picture of you back there? Yes, sir. Are you the employee of the month? I am. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, that's wonderful. The largest live rattlesnake exhibit is right down the road. Whoa, what do you think about that, Shane? I want ice cream. Ice cream or rattlesnakes? We can only ice choose cream. one. Ice cream? Ice cream. Man, it says ice cream over rattlesnakes. Let's go. Thank you. Let me give you a hand with that, Shane. 